This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on their Web Development 2 course. I'm on level 7, JavaScript Maniac Munchkins. Goals. Break open the chest. Stay alive. Break open a chest while being attacked by a group of munchkins and certain particularly angry munchkins. If condition 1, this only happens if the condition is true. Right. So whatever we have here, the computer checks it. If true, we run this code. However, if it is false, right? If it's the computer says false, it will then drop down to our if else, and this is something else we can check. So maybe we say if enemy exists, uh, attack. Well, the computer says false, no enemy. We drop down here. Else if, is there an item? And if that's true, the computer will run this code. If that's false, the computer drops down and runs the else statement. But keep in mind, let's say if enemy, true, there's an enemy. We attack the enemy. Then we skip everything else. We don't go through and run all of it. Okay, let's see. So we have this variable we made named enemy, and that's when our hero finds the nearest enemy. Our hero then is going to look around and find the distance to that enemy. This variable is that distance. So first we check if cleave is ready. Okay, so we're checking if we can cleave. First priority to, is if cleave is ready. To cleave if it's ready. Okay, so if we check if cleave is ready, one, if that returns true, the computer says true, cleave is ready, we're going to go ahead and cleave. Else if distance less than 5. Oh, and that must be the distance to the enemy. So we're saying else if the enemy is less than 5 away in distance, attack. Okay, so attack. And who do we want to attack? Well, the variable we created was enemy. So our hero looked, ar our hero looked around, and whatever enemy was closest, new name's enemy, we want to attack enemy. Else... Oh, and then finally, so this means cleave isn't ready, but there's there's no enemy close. Okay, then we want to attack chest. We will only attack chest if cleave isn't ready and if there's no enemy around, right? Because if, if there's an enemy, we're going to attack. It will skip the rest, hit this, and go back and loop again. Let's try. <laughs> Perfect. So what was working for me there is we needed to add the cleave, we needed to add arrow attack, and we wanted to attack our chest. All right, let's keep going. 